we demolish arguments and every pretense that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. It is not the Holy Spirit's job to renew your mind. You cannot have a renewed mind by coming to an altar call. You can have things broken off your mind, but your ability to renew your mind is your responsibility and you're gonna have to go to work to renew your mind. I remember when I asked the Lord, Lord, what does renewing the mind look like? And he said, it means, he said this just clearly, taking your thoughts to trial. You have to take your thoughts to trial. It's your ability to have a thought come in and you go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't, get, you don't just get to land here and hang out. Do you, how many of you know that just because you thought something doesn't mean that it's, it's true? Just because you thought it doesn't mean that there's any power behind it. You know, the enemy loves to throw arrows of just plain lies at us. And depending on how vulnerable and weak we are, we take it as truth. And then when we make an agreement with it, it becomes powerful in our lives. But... We've got to take those thoughts to trial. And part of being, you know, the strife and envy that we face is that a lot of times a thought will come in and we'll dismiss it. But what we have to do is take it to, take it to trial because our future is for influence. I don't know if you know that. But your future is to influence. Whatever sphere you're in, you are an influencer. You're called to be a leader wherever you are. You're a mom, you're a leader. You're a wife, you're a leader. You're a, you know, a, a marketplace, you're a leader. All of us, if we're Christ followers, we are leaders. And so we have to manage our world with diligence because the Lord says if we manage our inner world with diligence, he will give us more influence. Yeah.